Thank you very much for this great opportunity. We are a team for the MBA from Michigan State University. Our team members are Long, Yu, Xiaobing, and myself, Lu. The purpose of this case is to select the best product portfolio and to optimize the forecast and planning. We conducted four areas in our analysis. One, how to select the new hybrids. Two, how to phase out the existing products. Three, how to come up with a substitution of product portfolio considering the budget constraints. And four, our recommendations for better forecast. In our analysis, we used uh, methods of matrix analysis and a sequencing. But we do feel like we need more data to run with regression for a better forecast. Now let me hand over to Long and he will introduce to you how do we select our product portfolio. Since the company had narrowed down the products for selection to five new hybrids and 10 current products, the company targets 20% of the number of current products as new hybrids. In selecting new products, we calculated the total profit and selected the top two, which are NH2 and NH4. Then we phase out current products EH1 and EH2. We used the following steps. First, we phased out any product with quality issue. Second, we filter products at mature or decline stages. Third, we calculated the total profit and selected the lowest two. And last, we compare the substitution and obsolescence rates if the two products have the similar total profit and phase out the one with the higher. We made a flowchart to explain these steps in our, in our paper. Now we will talk about constraints when we make product portfolio decision. Now the current portfolio is based on sufficient budget. However, if the production plan cannot overrun the current budget by more than 10%, we also come up with a substitutional portfolio. In this new portfolio, we will phase out three existing products, EH129, and introduce two new products, NH1 and 2. The reason to choose NH1 instead of NH4 is that NH4 has very high forecast volume, 380,000 bags, and at least we overrun current budget by more than 10%, so we use NH1 to replace NH4. Then we apply the new method for the product of canola. CLP1 is phased out because of its quality issue, even though it is on the growth stage. So the CNP2 is the only new product to replace the CLP1. Next, I will pass to Xiaobin to introduce the recommendations. Production planning heavily depends on product forecast. We only can determine the production volume based on the data provided in, the, in this case. However, we would like to give four recommendations for a better forecast. Number one, we, will, we need more information and data, including the historical sales and price of the new products from Monsanto and other competitors to run forecast model using regression uh, method and the exponential smoothing. Number two, we recommend Monsanto to use online and offline um, uh, med channels such as mails and uh, apps to inform farmers about the new products so they can plan the planting beforehand. Number three, we also recommend Monsanto to um, establish framework agreement with farmers prior to sales based on their market average price of the future contract date. Number four, we also um, recommend Monsanto to calculate the safety stock to decrease the inventory cost. To sum up, um, we are very confident that our analysis and recommendation would help Monsanto to enhance and improve the supply chain efficiency. However, more data will be needed if you want to go further research in this case. Thank you so much.